Hello, this is Kelly from ThemeZoom. We get a lot of questions from our users about how to use the column feature of our new product, the last keyword tool. Uh, to answer some of those questions, I'm going to create a simple demonstration and use it to find keywords that are relevant, valuable, and uh, less competitive than other ones. Uh, as you can see, the first thing that uh, we already have relevance taken care of, and, and that would be the LSI column here. Things that are highly relevant are, are at the top. Uh, we also want to include value was the next of our uh, constraints. So in order to do that, we'll say uh, keyword Google and all this does is essentially combine LSI score with the cost per click into the same thing. So if both of those are high, it will be very high. If both of those are low, the score will be very low. And we'll just call that voodoo for now. I could come up with another acronym, but it would be silly. Um, okay, we now have our column, as you can see here. Let's sort by that to see what uh, to see what we got. And you can see that things with a very high cost per click and a very high uh, relevance uh, sort of bubble up to the top, and as we go down lower, the relevance sinks, as does the the cost per click. Uh, let's improve that a little bit, shall we? Let's go back into our column and let's uh, make sure that uh, we take into account our competitiveness and that would be the number of competing pages. Well obviously as the number of competing pages goes up it's more and more competitive so in this case we're actually going to be dividing by the number of competing pages. Um, and this column, because that number is so large, these are actually all zeros so one of the things that I like to do is actually just take the log of that which is scales it a little bit differently um, but it moves the number down to make them more digestible. I'll get into logs and exponents a bit later for the non-mathematically uh, inclined. Um, as you can see now, we have uh, real numbers to work with. Um, uh, our relevance is, is very high at the top, our cost per click is very high, and our number of competing pages are in general pretty low. Uh, the next step is that uh, our, our clicks per day you know, are kind of all over the map. We have 200, we have 39, we have 1. Um, it doesn't do us a lot of good. So what we're going to do is go back into our column and say, well, part of the value of a keyword is the number of clicks that it gets. So we're just going to go ahead and multiply that times the number of clicks. Let's see what happens when we apply that. Oh, the number got really big. Well, and the reason for that is some of these things are, are really, really large. So to sort of scale that back down, um, you know, what we're going to do is we'll just uh, take the square root of that, which is basically, which is that is the same thing. The power of a half is the same thing as the square root. Uh, we'll see what we get. Make it a little more digestible here. Okay. All right. And now you see we have things that have a lot of clicks per day have bubbled up to the top. Um, you know, reasonably high cost and they're pretty relevant. Uh, but look at our searches. Our searches are 18,000, 200,000, 28. You know, that really doesn't help us a lot. So we want to include our searches as well. And you could include searches, uh, let's just do it right here. Let's just take our searches plus And that's basically traffic. You know, our, our number of clicks plus number of searches is essentially our, our traffic. So we put those things together, and you can see things with a lot of searches are now bubbling up to the top, as well as the clicks. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is that I think we're rating this a little bit too highly, because uh, we're getting some some less relevant things. Twelve. We're getting some cheap things too. You know, three dollars. Uh, let's go back to our column, and instead of doing that to the point five, let's do it to point three, which is essentially just lowering the weight. There we go. Now you can see we have reasonably expensive keywords up front. Not bad. We have a pretty high amount of clicks. We have a fair amount of searches. It's not uh, it's not perfectly ordered. You see we have 200,000 here. Um, but you know things are highly relevant. Actually, you know what? We can do better on relevance. Let's go back. What we can do to increase the weight of our our relevance is just say instead of having this be all alone, let's uh, let's take it, uh, let's square it. That way, the more relevant it is, the the more it matters. Let's see what we have. Okay. 
Now we have things with a pretty high cost. We have things with a lot of clicks, a lot of searches. We have really high relevance. That actually might be too high. Let's go back. And this is part of why the column facility exists, is because for everything you look at, you know, every market, every locale, everything is just a little bit different. So let's just dial this back a little bit. We don't want it to be that important, just pretty important. Okay. And now it, it, we have a little more flexibility with this. So now we have our, our cost per clicks are pretty high. Our clicks per day are pretty high. Searches are good. Uh, things are highly relevant. Uh, we're doing pretty good, except our competing pages are all over the map. We really haven't addressed competitiveness too much thus far. We really just you know, give it a very basic weight by dividing. So we'll go back to a filter, which is the easiest way of really taking care of this. And we'll just... Um, We'll say, give me all the keywords that are less than 2 million. And now, you can see we have a lot of really nice keywords here that are very relevant, that have a really high cost per click. You get a lot of clicks per day. There's a lot of search traffic. They're very easy to rank for. Uh, and they're all, you know, like we said before, very relevant. Um, and this would be a good starting place for optimizing your website for SEO. And that pretty much covers it for right now.